You know, in today's world, we are plagued with many philosophical questions and important topics to discuss, such as, can we really know everything? Is there a God? What is consciousness? But none of these really touch on the true philosophical ideas that we should be looking at, and none as great as the modern philosopher of all time, Mr. Beast, who asked today one of the most philosophical questions someone could ever ask. Would you rather have 10 million dollars or 10 million subscribers? I thought that this was truly impressive. Mostly because there's only one right answer here. Really, there's, there's only one right answer. And if you pick the other answer, it's wrong. So it is incredibly hilarious to see how many people pick the wrong answer. And in case you're wondering what the wrong answer is, it's 10 million subscribers. If you have the choice between 10 million dollars and 10 million subscribers, there is only one right answer and it's 10 million dollars. Not to get too far ahead of myself, a lot of people have some pretty shit ideas of what they should pick. Starting our, our journey off with Mr. Merriweather. Is this his comics page too? Yeah. This is a Merriweather comics page. I find it interesting that he used this page rather than his VTuber page, but says La Vie, right? Merriweather says $10 million could fund content and could get you 10 million subscribers. This is very true, and in fact why it is a wrong answer to pick 10 million subscribers. But speaking as someone with a million subscribers, subscribers don't guarantee views. Actually, this is very true. It's very common that you're very lucky, except for like a few exceptions, if 20% of your views come from your subscriber base. That's like, that's a high number for a lot of people. Most of your views don't come from subscribers. Subscribers are functionally, after like a thousand, don't really matter as much. It's like an extra boost maybe, but it's not really that important, you know? Fefe, oh Fefe. I feel like Fefe's goal when she tweets, I'm assuming Fefe's a she. I assume Fefe's goal when she tweets is like, how do I piss off the most people with this tweet? And I swear to God, she does it. She definitely does it. I feel like the only way the answer could not, not even that, I was gonna say, if you were like Jeffrey Bezos, maybe you take the, the 10 million subscribers instead of 10 million dollars. But truth be told, I still think the 10 million dollars could just make, you could make content that gets you to, to 10 million subscribers. I feel like you could take a million dollars and burn it, right? I feel like you could do like some form of like really crazy thing to get a large amount of subscribers with 10 million dollars. I would rather have 10 million subscribers because yes, 10 million dollars is nice. I think the other feels more like an accomplishment I tell my grandchildren about. Yes, Fefe, because you couldn't tell your grandchildren, wow, I won $10 million that will pay for your college and your, your school and your house. I feel like now that's, you're right, that's not as much of an accomplishment as uh, 10 million subscribers. Fucking God bless. Also, 10 million subscribers doesn't require me to pay taxes. Oh my God. If you have $10 million, you can afford the taxes. I don't know. Oh my God, that makes me upset. But I think Fefe was being a troll right? Like, 100%, I think Fefe was just being a troll. Makes sense. It's kind of Fefe's, like, on-brand thing, you know? Kind of works out. Sell of Dreams, French Vocaloid Music. I'm assuming they're a musician. Uh, I'd probably say 10 million subscribers because with 10 million dollars, I'd be rich. It would bring me happiness. Happiness, wait, it wouldn't bring me happiness. Happiness would be the ability to share my feelings through my music to love. Do you know how much you can advertise with 10 million dollars? Like, really? If you want people to hear your music, to be honest, it's probably more likely if you have 10 million dollars because you can get into rooms with people to promote your music. I feel like I read these things and I just get angry because I feel like people don't understand what you can do with money. This idea that money cannot buy you happiness is only said by people who have like so much money they don't know what to do with it, okay? Trust me when I tell you there are very few things that money can buy, especially if you're talking about getting money without giving up time. That's a really important thing there. This is like I just suddenly have 10 million dollars and so you have time and money. Most people trade time for money and generally to get happiness you need to convert like time into happiness but if you have 10 million dollars you can still convert your time into happiness you know I this this upsets me a lot Slap, very slap like 10 million dollars smart not dumb subs why are you fucking high mkb obviously talking about the right question the real question could you create 10 million dollars with 10 million subscribers or create 10 million subscribers with 10 million dollars i feel like it is a lot easier to go from money to uh subscribers than it is from subscribers to money and the reason for this okay is because you can hire people to do the skills that you are very bad at 
So let's say I'm bad at script writing. I could hire someone with $10 million to script write for me. Let's say you're bad at video editing. You can pay a video editor for many, many years, a decent, like a really good salary, okay? And still manage to, you know, do it. So I feel like one of these is much easier. 10 million subscribers all day. Money is boring compared to what you could do with 10 million loyal. Okay, he didn't say loyal, you stupid cunt. But this is like, he never said loyal. Daily dose, okay? Internet sensation, daily dose. Take the money, people. That will allow you to immediately retire, never work again, travel the world, and help those you want to help. See, I feel like when I see actual YouTubers coming in here basically being like, anyone who doesn't take the money is a fucking idiot. You can do a lot with a million dollars. No, it isn't. You fucking- Oh my god. Bored ETH. Fucking crypto. Oh my god, they have 1.7 million subs. Oh my god. Oh god. That's gross. Like, I just, like, vomited in my mouth. It is highly variable based on the person. How much money do they already have? How much capacity do they have to do something with 10 million eyeballs? I'd argue that 95% of people should take the money. I think everyone should take the money. If you have those abilities to cope with those eyes, with $10 million, you can build an audience. Again, content creator. I feel like this is, this is, like, this is, like, the crux of, like, oh, God, I see these people and... Oh my god, my brain is having an aneurysm reading this. I'd rather have 10 million kisses because love conquers all. No, it doesn't, Jax. I'm sorry, you've been lied to. KFC Gaming. Is this actually K- Yes, verified. Finger clicking good. That's hilarious. 10,000 pieces of chicken. Wow, that sounds like a waste of food. Spiffy, 10 million subs could make you 10 million dollars. I mean, hypothetically speaking, if you can utilize them and their, like, active engagement, but I don't think, uh... I'm not gonna lie. I feel like most people can't. I feel like no matter what, the money is always better. Cash is the obvious answer. It's really the only answer. Scott Manley. Uh, subs counts don't translate to anything like they used to. It'd still be a... I don't think people realize that $10 million. Okay, let's say hey, $10 million, right? 100,000, 1 million, 10 million. Uh, let's say a a 1% interest rate a year. Okay, 1%. I feel like 1% is like very, very... Arguably, it should be more. If you do something like... I'm saying one, okay? We're just gonna be a, a conservative 1% in year. means you have a $100,000, okay? Okay, you could pay a video editor, okay? You could pay a video editor, a thumbnail person, and a marketing person, right? But you could at least do a video editor and a thumbnail artist and pay them really well. 50k a year, you could just be like, oh, I'd probably do, hopefully, someone who could do both and maybe pay them like 70k and you'd have 30k left over. And that would be a pretty good amount of money each year for you to like, I just have $30,000 to live off of. Decent, okay? Like, it's, it's not like great living, it's decent. In America, you have to understand, I think the median income is $31,000 a year. I feel like people do not understand that this is like crazy, right? Like, and that's if you do a 1% interest rate a year, okay? Which I would say is fairly conservative. You look at something like the S&P 500, right? Generally goes up 8% a year. On average, I'm doing 1%. If you were to get 2%, you are both like you could pay. You have money to do things. I just don't understand why this is an issue. It's like basic math. I've, I've, it really upset. I don't know why it bothers me so much. Like I'm actually like visibly fuming right now at how upset I am for people not understanding like some very basic math here. If you can't get this question right, which I think is very basic, I just, I don't get it. Roberto Blake, also another content creator who I've watched. I think if you don't take a million dollars, you're a fucking idiot. One plus one is three. Yeah, 